Right, it's uh, about quarter to six in the morning, um, uh, Friday morning, and I've just got up um, and uh, packed, ready to go to Lincoln. Um, I think I've got everything. I've got all the clothes I need. I've got all my uh, wash stuff. Um, I've got... Uh, my travel journal, my normal journal. Um, I've got uh, all my cameras, all my chargers, um, my mobile phone, iPod, that sort of stuff. That's about it, really. Um, I'm just cooking some uh, little um, bread bun things. They only take 10 minutes to cook. Um, and they go from sort of stodgy, horrible bread to light and fluffy. Uh, I'm going to have them for breakfast um, on the way, on the hop, so to speak. Um, so now I'm going to uh, uh, quickly get up and then at about six o'clock we're going to head off because our train is at um, just before half six. It's still dark outside as well, so, uh, so there we are. I'm going to make sure uh, before I leave that my birds are fully fed and watered and uh, and then we'll be ready to go, I think. <laughs> I've arrived in Leeds, bang on time. Um, I can't speak for long because um, it's five past and my train leaves at quarter past from another platform which I've got yet to find. Um, a bit weird. We've travelled uh, through a beautiful sunset of orangey red, but there were some ladies on the train who um, who were putting their full faces on, you know, early in the morning, I suppose. But we're not talking just, you know, lippy and uh, a bit of blusher. There was this one lady who I was trying not to stare at. She was sitting a bit further down the train. And she had her eye uh, lash curler tongs out and. Uh, she was using them as the train was uh, pulling out and I was thinking well that's quite a dangerous thing to do because the train goes over an unexpected bump, uh, out come all your eyelashes don't they? <laughs> Well, I'm irritated, irritated to say the least. Um, the train that I was on to uh, change at Doncaster ended up being 15 minutes late. I had a changeover of 10 minutes, so consequently I arrived five minutes after my connection had left. Um, so I had to go to the ticket desk and I had to say, look, because you've delayed the train, uh, I've now missed my connection. How am I supposed to get to Lincoln? The uh, lady on the desk was <laughs> more or less rude. Um, she uh, did sort of tell me that I could probably travel on the um, on the next train, and she did stump my the back of my uh, my ticket because it's got a res reservation now for a train that no longer exists. And I said, well, you know, will I still be able to get to see? Oh, well, I don't know. It's too late to reserve a ticket now. Yeah, well, hang on. I have this reserved. And it's hardly my fault that you're... Hello, why are you all steamed up round there? Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll clear that up in a minute. But um, it's hardly my fault that the train is 15 minutes delayed. Um, and it wasn't delayed. They said they were just slow running. I mean, we were going all the time. So anyway, um, now I won't get into Lincoln for, well, I was supposed to be in at 9, now it'll be 10.30. Shocking, because then it will... Yeah. So now I have absolutely nothing to do for um, quite some time, actually. If I just get my, uh, my hit wallet out, I can tell, say when. The old itinerary. Um, it was Doncaster to Newark Northgate, 7:55, 8:21. I don't leave 
Doncaster now um, until 8.53. I don't get into Newark Northgate until quarter past nine. And then what's annoying is I don't leave there until well, I've got more than half an hour to wait there now as well. So overall it hasn't been very um, very good and there will be letters written about it because, you know, I don't have very long there as it is. Now I have even less time than I had before. And uh, little in the way of a, you know, apology for it. So here we are. So, here I am, platform 3A in Doncaster, twiddling my bloody thumbs. Um, there are... What's happened, what happens is, there seems to be two different uh, GNER trains um, to uh, uh, King's Cross, and they don't do the same stations, so... I got on a train at Leeds to go to King's Cross and I had to change here for another train going to exactly the same place, King's Cross, uh, but it called at different stations. Um, and what happened was one King's Cross train was late, so I missed the other train going to King's Cross passing through here. So I went, uh, and I missed it by five minutes. I mean, it was we were supposed to arrive at, at just before quarter two. It was supposed to leave just before five two, and it was gone the hour by the time we came in. So I went under the, uh, down the steps and, and under and back up to, to the way out, and I had to queue for quite some time to speak to somebody and, and the woman there was quite rude to me in fact um, it was a snide little comment like um, you're welcome uh, it, do you know what I mean I just don't need it it's early in the morning I've missed the train through no fault of my own and rather than being you know terribly apologetic she's making snide remarks anyway so I have a, a train here but I've got a long layover here and then uh, when I change it because it's the same route but when I change at um, uh, Newark, I've got a, another long layover. So the result is I don't get in uh, to Lincoln until an hour and a half after I was due in originally. And then, of course, I've got to book in to the hotel. So uh, at the end of the day, that will be all my morning gone. Um, uh, to be fair, I don't know if it was GNER. Um, I think it might have been East Coast, actually. I can't remember. I'll have to check. I just use the term GNER for any um, <laughs> high-speed rail, and that's that's not technically true. So uh, don't put too much stock yet into me specifically blaming GNER. It might be a different uh, uh, rail company. Um, but anyway... So, uh, there's a train that goes to King's Cross that stops at this station at quarter to, and I can't get that because uh, it, it doesn't stop at the correct stations. So I've got to wait until, um, I think it's about 10.25 to the next hour, in fact, uh, and get that train. And then, of course, all the waits are elongated now because we're getting, you know, getting into the, the day rather than commuter time, so it's annoying. It is annoying, but I can't now let it ruin my holiday. Um, I will be writing. I will find out which, uh, which, which train it actually was, which train company it actually was, and I shall write a complaint to them, try and get my money back on the whole ticket, to be fair. And then I shall also write a complaint against this particular station, um, and of course video it and upload it, you know. It makes me feel better. So there we are.
This here, platform three, is the one to uh, to Lincoln. So. Not many seats on this platform, so I might have to sit on another platform. God help us if that was the same train coming back. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to find a seat, um, but obviously not on this station, but because. There's no seats. Very bizarre. This is platform three, according to the sign. I think I'll go over back towards where we uh, came from. It's more isolated, which is good for me because I like doing videos where there aren't people around. <sighs> Partly because I think it's uh, rude to film other people without their permission, but mostly because, um, well, they sort of stare at you as if you're doing something strange. So, I'm going to sit here, again, where I can see the clock on that side over there. See, platform three. Uh, really has the waiting room. But there's someone in there, so I'm not going to go in. I'm going to sit here, making myself comfortable. Here we are. Right, nearly half past ten. I finally made it into Lincoln. It hasn't changed the station at all, even the little link bridge. The only thing that has changed is the, um, some sort of ticket barrier there. And there never used to be a ticket barrier there. And I, I want to say that's new, but I suspect it's been there for <laughs> about 10 years. Because you have to remember, I left Lincoln um, August of uh, 2000. Um, so anyway, there we are. Time to get to the hotel first. <laughs> 